Welcome to one more unboxing video for a prototype. This time we are very happy to have with us on our table series. The latest game from Artipia Games, designed by Gustav Sandstrom, a game that is about to hit Kickstarter uh, for crowdfunding. This is a game for one to four players, plays around 90 to 120 minutes, uh, ages 12 and up. And it's a game uh, that it uh, falls under the categories of science fiction, space exploration, which uses many mechanisms, among them uh, worker placement. So uh, the year is 2219, the days of Earth being the center of humankind, attention have ceased, and the time of interplanetary space flights, space exploration and exploitation is already upon us. Mars, having been terraformed and colonized for more than 50 years, facilitates, among others, the headquarters of the Asteroid Mining Assembly of Corporations, the MAC, a regulatory and cooperative instrument of authority overseeing all issues that concern the Asteroid Mining Corporations. Ceres, the largest object in the asteroid belt, stands as the last resort before the outer planets, a trading port established as uh, the ultimate sign of stability within the chaos of the asteroid belt. Ceres is now the home of the asteroid mining complex and its great establishment. Uh, players take up the role of one of the asteroid mining corporations and they plan and execute their company's agendas, construct facilities, deploy mining probes in the asteroid belt and researching for new technologies and exploiting their power in the Council of Mars. So this is going to be a prototype unboxing. We're just going to focus on the components of the game. Bear, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, there are uh, things that are going to be changed, of course, over the production of the game. This is still a prototype, even though it's an advanced prototype. Uh, and we're going to follow up with another video releasing on how to play the game uh, with instructions on how to play the game and uh, some final thoughts about my time with the game so far. Now, a couple of words before I proceed. Keep in mind that still this is a prototype, as I mentioned, and uh, uh, you're going to see that on the board there is a glossy finish, which was a mistake from the manufacturer doing the prototype. Of course, this is not the intention of the, pro uh, the publisher. In the final product, this is not going to be glossy, <coughs> so uh, it's going to have a very nice uh, 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 look, so it doesn't give glare from the different angles. Uh, so the looks of it is going to be uh, corrected. Also regarding the ore resource, the manufacturer uh, of the prototype did not have the grey ore crystal that the company intended to, to use. They used an, or an orange crystal instead, as you'll see uh, right soon. So uh, this, uh, just keep that in mind, so this uh, is going to be changed in the final production of uh, the game. And finally, there will be some minor changes in graphic design and some illustration changes. Uh, generally, this is a prototype, so you can expect that uh, there's going to be a lot of improvement, even though it is a prototype. Some notes about uh, the thematic application of the game. Uh, Artipia uh, really tries to strive to uh, integrate theme into their games, so uh, they wanted to offer a fully thematic experience and a story to tell to the players, so they have closely worked with an astrophysicist developer for many months for the most realistic and most possible thematic applica application of the scientific concepts in the game and uh, its mechanics. So uh, this is why the asteroid belt moves faster, uh, the closer to the center sun, uh, it is that it's why they are using ice as the future fuel also is a realistic approach and many more decisions that you're going to find embedded in the game so that it gives uh, as close as possible um, uh, experience to what we should uh, expect based on scientific data and information. Uh, there is also uh, um, a solo material that's going to be included. So the solo and Atoma is available, the designer has already designed and uh, they are in the final stages of implementing uh, and uh, uh, packing up the solo mode, so this is going to be based on an Atoma design, so this is really cool. And uh, there are a lot of different extra gameplay material that are going to be used, some uh, nice component upgrades, which you're going to have to discover during the Kickstarter campaign, uh, if you follow it closely. So, let's dive right into the game and see what we find into this prototype. So, first of all, I have to admit that uh, the cover is really, really nice. It gives a, uh, immediately the feeling of uh, the mining corporation and all uh, the heavy industry that is going to happen on, uh, on series. So this is really, really nice. Excellent cover. Again, as I mentioned, this is prototype. So let's see what we have inside. I'm putting all these things to the side because I want to first uh, open the, uh, the main board and then come back to the components, the rest of the components. So a lot, a lot of material uh, inside. Uh, 
the game. It's a heavy box, so lots of boards, as expected. So, again, keep in mind that this is uh, not going to be glossy at all in the final uh, product, so let's see. It's a huge board, by the way. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> it's really huge. So, these are four out of the six panels, as you can see with a series surface and then this is really really nice there is a, there are rotation parts in this uh, asteroid belt so this is really cool i'm really looking forward to to see how it works in practice so this is the lower part essentially it's a six uh, part board but it's custom as you can see and the top one uh, has already embedded the asteroid belt and uh, it really gives a really really uh, unique feel uh, to the main board because typically we tend to see these rotating boards mainly as part of uh, player boards usually but not as the main board so this is a this is the, the cool the cool thing about a series main board so uh, let's move uh, through the remaining of uh, the components for the prototype we have, uh, of course, the uh, cooperation board. This is uh, one for each player, and you can see here this is a matte finish. So I'm suspecting, I'm uh, expecting that this is going to be most probably the. Uh, wow, the art at the back is really amazing. So I suspect that this is going to be the uh, the quality of the board. But anyway, uh, it's not going to be glossy. So I'm really happy that it's going, not going to be glossy because it's a huge board. So. Uh, it's a good thing that they're taking care of this. Then we have um, the corporate headquarter location and the play raid that you have. So these are the corporate HQs. One, two, three, four. So again, maybe they have uh, this is separate part because maybe they have the possibility to expand it. I don't know, maybe even in uh, the course of the campaign. So let's see. This fits here, and then uh, it's one for each player. And then, of course, you have the play raid, which goes here. I like the fact that your player board is uh, modular. Uh, this is really good, instead of having one piece. So that's, this is really nice. Then we have the starting um, outstations. Outstations are these... Um, uh, these cards of the game that you're going to find in the game. So this is like uh, the starting section for each of the players. So they go here. So you have essentially this is your player area. Okay. So let's see what else we have. Lots of... Uh, components again keep in mind that these are uh, prototype materials so I'm going to expect some changes but uh, already these look really really nice look at this castle maple really cool and uh, these ones as, as well They look great. Okay. Uh, again, there are four, four colors. So we have those for each of the player colors. Orange, white, yellow and purple. Okay. Then we have the resources of the game. And we have the specialized uh, uh, workers, which stand for different uh, uh, experts, let's say. Uh, namely, the green one is uh, the managing director, that they work with the office. The blue one is the chief engineering, working with the factory. The gray one is the mine overseer, which works with the mine, of course. And the red one is the scientific coordinator, which works with the lab. Nice custom 
uh, meeples and uh, uh, by looking at, at the custom meeple I immediately think of this great uh, uh, 3D astronaut they had uh, at uh, Essen most of you I'm sure you've seen already so this is really cool okay then let's uh, see the cards where you can find the different cards of the game the different cards essentially we have two deck of cards this is the back of the card nice art there too so these are the outstations which have a lot of information a lot of different uh, possibilities and uh, of course they're color coded based on the type again there's going to be illustration changes but you can see it already this prototype already has uh, some great art going on on the main deck of the cards for the outstations these are the outstation deck the iconography is clear I like the layout of the card everything looks nice and aesthetically very pleasing and uh, matching the theme of the game I would say for sure great great art and nice card anatomy overall ice mine Okay, really, really nice uh, layout of the cards. I'm really uh, liking what I see so far. And then we have uh, these cards, which are the settlement uh, project cards. This is a way to uh, get a lot of victory points as well. Uh, there's different projects that uh, you need to contribute to so that uh, uh, the series project uh, thrives. And these are the requirements like ceramic, uh, advanced ceramics, or ice, etc. And these are the points awarded. This is the player count. And this is the, the art and the title of uh, the name of the, uh, the project. So really cool art there as well. Looks great. OK, so the last thing that I want to show you are these alloy tokens that you see here. These are really, really uh, hard to get, but very, very important, uh, hard to make and very, very important as well. Okay. And of course we have some credits as well, in various denominations of one, five and two that you see here. So, there you have it. These are all the components of uh, series. The latest game from Artipia Games. I'm really looking forward to uh, get this on the table, play it and uh, uh, record my experience with the game and share it with you. So, stay tuned for more information about series coming up soon. <music>